Hello everybody, my name is Prince Nelson and I am live on Zikoko. Um, I agreed to become Big Brother's guest because um, I needed to be on the show to promote what I was doing at the time. Um, that what made me you know, decline the original um, uh, offer of being a housemate. That's the music, uh, the music label I'm working on right now, my music label. You know, so when Big Brother called a second time to come as a house guest, I had space. So why not come do that and you know tell the world about my music? It was fun. I had so much fun. It was easier, you know, to integrate because at least 90% of the people who were in the house were already friends with me on the outside. You know, I was familiar with them, so it was easy to it was easier to settle in, and there was less pressure because of the fact that I'm not playing for the money. So it's two weeks of have fun you know sell yourself as much as possible and that's what i did um all of my friends to be honest because um the lot of them were not expecting me to be there i had you know prior to being into the house going into the house told them that oh i was not going to come yeah and i had watched them you know say oh if only prince was there even guys from my set oh if only prince was here i would like to see uh, prince to come so i was very excited to see them in the house and i wanted to see the reactions that they would have when i eventually walked into the house and they did not disappoint um not really but the only instruction i i remember big brother giving us okay there were, i think there were like two one is specifically do not you know tell the housemates whatever is going on, on the outside if not we'll pull you from the house immediately you do so secondly was our task was to de-escalate the chaos that was going on in the house. Biggie felt like there was too much fights. There was, you know, too much bickering. Like it was too toxic. You guys go in there, share as much peace as possible as you can. And that's what I believe that we tried to do that, you know. And it was very evident. Like the week, the first week that we were there, there was a lot less fights, you know. People eased into themselves and had more fun. And I, I can testify to that because of the... The conversations that I had with some of the housemates, people like Cross, Shay, um, you know, Alex, Fraud, even Mercy, they told me, ah, Omo, we are so happy you guys came. Neil said the same thing, like, we're so happy you guys came. It felt like the house was choking everybody. And the moment you guys walked in, it was like, whew. So, yeah. No, that's not true. The agreement we had with Biggie, all the four of us, before going into the house was, you were only going to be in the house for two weeks and i'm, I'm shocked that um, the the public were not aware of that but that was in the contract that we signed it said you're only in the house for two weeks with an option to extend at big brother's discretion but from from uh from the beginning i already said i don't want to be there for more than two weeks once it's two weeks if you want to extend please extend the others i want to leave and i also um that week like on a Tuesday, on Tuesday, I was having a conversation with Kim. I think that was after we did uh, nominations and people who were up for eviction was up, you get. And then there was Lucy and the other housemates who were up for eviction. So me and Kim, we were at the garden and I was like, ah, that means plenty of people are going this, this Sunday. She was like, oh, how do you know? I'm like, ah, I mean, there's four of us who are going to leave on Sunday and then probably three housemates, that's like seven. I just like nah that's not that biggie can't do that seven is too much to pull at once you get that maybe some of us will be extended and i was like ah me i don't want extension no biggie wants it sunday pull me out on sunday if biggie does not pull me out on sunday that i will ask for voluntary exit you get so i think biggie heard that and despite the fact that i was not up for eviction he still found a way to remove me from the house you get and by Friday, Biggie had already called me to the diary room to tell me, remember that, um, I think either Friday or Saturday morning, remember your agreement with Biggie says that you believe in the house on Sunday. So I was instructed to park very calmly so that I would not raise suspicion from other housemates to ask to, ah, why are you parking? You're not off eviction, so why are you parking? So I was just packing my clothes, small, small, I'll take a shirt, put in a box take one single put it like that like that and i was still leaving things around washing clothes let's look like 
so i think it was five minutes to the show before the sh live show started i walked up to kim and i was like kafa why is your cupboard still full you know the pack and she's like ah you are you pack i said ah, me, i'm almost uh, like i've packed some things i should like you're going i said yes now biggie did not call you she said yes that biggie didn't call her. i said oh that me i'm going she was shocked and she wanted to start crying i was like no no, no don't cry because if you start crying everybody will ask you why are you crying so how do you explain to them that i'm leaving so what i did is okay since i noticed okay she's not packing um Omashola was not packing as well so i think i was like okay maybe i'm the one and lucy that is the one that's leaving so i left some of my things and then begin i give extra instructions while during the live show go and pack um exceptional you know it's it's a mashup of everything that we've seen from every season so far bringing the best of the best together and everybody who is on this season or who has been on this season as much as small as their stay was had a contribution you know you 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 can't remove any person everybody has a contribution in the sense that you would always when you're telling the story of the season eventually when it's done you would always everybody's name will have to be mentioned because without that person there was something that wouldn't have happened even us the house guests without us there was something that wouldn't have happened so i love the fact that even up until now we can't specifically say who is going to win there are still a couple of people who are hovering around the top and it's now a case of if one person if the person missteps someone else will take over it's another person did missteps while in previous seasons three four five weeks into the show we can already tell ah this is the person that's going to win i am definitely rooting for my friends to win i have i think i still have a couple of friends who i'm really close to inside of the house so i am rooting for either one of them anybody that wins kudos to you guys so i'll be outside cheering for you and of course waiting for my 10 percent um no i had only met ile by once and the thing that was like over a year ago and it was at a at a friend's party it was at a party that fraud put together actually that's the only time i had ever met her after their season ended it was at the party that fraud put together and there i don't think there was we never interacted she was just um seated beside me at the party i didn't you get so that was the only time i had ever met her we've never interacted we didn't used to follow each other or whatever but getting into the house um the first couple of days i was i was in the house i noticed that you know people she was always by herself she was always sad we'll be playing games she's not contributing she's just quiet and i'm the kind of person that when i walk in somewhere i want everybody around me to be you know as bubbly as possible and also coupled with the fact that biggie said you know make sure that everybody's in is having fun spread love you get so i always walked up to her or every time i come out I'm like ah, are you okay why are you sad what's going on because I noticed not much, not many people in the house were saying anything to her, you know. But it also helped with the fact that Alex, who I was closest to in the house, you know, was friends with her. So from those interactions of, hey, come and play with us, come and talk with us, come and chill, you know, it blossomed into a really cool friendship. And I'm, I'm really happy about that because apart from having friends in the house, I also wanted to make new friends in the house as well and i would like to say that one of the strangest friendships that i made that i never expected would happen with me in the house was becoming friends with cc you get because i know she had issues she had history or she had issues and fights with alex and i i had it, i heard it in my head that i'm not going into the house to fight her but i know that there might be a transfer of aggression because of my affiliation with alex so in the initial stages the first couple of days i tried as much as possible to stay away from her but before i knew what was happening i don't even know how it happened it was one day hello hi how are you fine 
conversation started next thing we are dancing together at parties next thing i'm noticing that oh she and alex are now friends i'm like ah thank god so it doesn't have to be a case of oh if i talk to this person this one is angry if i talk to this person this person is angry and you know we re became really cool and she, i i think like in that time in the time my time in the house she even became very comfortable with me than most of the guys in the house no it actually wasn't weird um because before i went into the house it was something that it happened whatever happened between Tolony and i happened three years ago i don't know how to keep malice i actually don't know how i, I suck at keeping malice um there has been apologies she had apologized to me after the reunion uh, about you know words that were said words that were used and i also apologize you know to her to say oh if there was at any point in time actions that i because of my actions or inactions that you felt a certain way maybe i misled you or whatever i'm sorry about that and we shook hands and you know had moved on from whatever it is so there was no beef at all so me coming into the house and seeing her there and prior to that we we have met and hung out at several events as well so there was no awkwardness at all so um now i'm out of the house i'm still my salon is still obviously there hairline real we're still pushing it with thank god so far this is our second third year i think um still doing movies i've started a couple of movies so far i have some that are coming out this year hopefully going to start in a couple in a couple more um i'm also going into movie production because i believe that there's a kind of there's some type of stories that i want to watch as an african made by africans that we're not necessarily making you get stories that really tell you know that are very personal to us stories about us that is not being told and i really want to tell the stories because i know those stories and um so i'm opening my production company and then the record label is very personal to me because the first artist i'm starting with is my younger brother so it's i've always loved music i've always wanted to do it but i don't know how to sing but luckily for me god gave me someone in my own home who knows how to sing and who knows how to make music so it's like i'm achieving my dreams through him and helping him achieve his dreams as well so go into the business of music and so far we've been working and i believe that the songs that we have for you guys are going to be some of the most amazing songs you will hear from Afrobeats in a very long time and i'm not saying because of it's my brother because of i have worked on these songs i've listened to the songs and they sound really amazing and i also have a surprise artist who's already in the industry and is doing good for himself that is also under my label right now so by the time we launch next month, you guys will be amazed to be like, how was Prince able to pull this off? But yeah, you guys should expect that.